Okay, I'm getting closer and closer to replicating Dr. Stifler's um, uh, one-wire energy transmission experiment. And uh, I've got this uh, new circuit that he's posted um, that uh, is a little bit different. It has a variable capacitor instead of a variable inductor. And I did get it to operate. And uh, the way I got it to operate was by adding an earth ground to the negative post of the battery. And a bunch of people are asking about that, the Tesla experiment using earth ground. And uh, I'm on my way there. And Dr. Stifler says that's probably the next step on this is um, the earth ground um, part of the Tesla experiment. So anyway, the earth ground here goes out and out the door here and into a stake in the ground outside. And uh, this isn't connected to the house in any way. It goes down to the ground about three feet. And uh, that's the earth ground. And this particular circuit would not run without the earth ground. Uh, this is my amp draw meter here. I have it set at 200 milliamp setting. Uh, you'll be seeing a reading here in milliamps. And th to replicate the doctor's experiment, this had to be down in the low milliamp range running at 24 volts. And that's what I have here. I have two 12 volt batteries. It's a 24 volt source. Uh, the parts are pretty much identical to what he specified and including these little towers. And uh, these little uh, Tesla-like towers are really, really neat. And I'm having a lot of fun experimenting with those. Uh, I'm using a brass uh, tape I got at a craft store to attach the attachment points and you can solder to it which is really nice and the one over there on the far side I can zoom in right there is the receiver tower and that receiver tower has 27 LEDs uh, they're rated at 3 volts each and uh, the tower uh, winding and stuff is exactly like the one here. Uh, it's an identical coil arrangement. And when I fire this off, you're going to see that little uh, rectangle portion there light up. And let me uh, connect the battery here. You'll see that thing light up here. There it goes. And it's not dark outside yet, but that is uh, 27 LEDs lit up. And uh, unfortunately, the light here is obscuring the intensity of this. But that's actually pretty darn bright. And that is running here at 23.5 milliamps or 23.8 milliamps. Uh, I can tune this all the way down to about 3 milliamps and get some glow on the LEDs. And all the way up to over 100 milliamps um, at the far end of the scale. And the interesting thing I'm finding is capacitance is extremely important on this thing. And um, if you get too near these things, they just shut right down. Put my hand, you can see my hand. And uh, the capacitance on this thing um, is critical. You, you get it wrong and the circuit doesn't run. And this plant right here actually is helping me. Uh, that plant has some sort of a capacitance function. And it, this actually works better when it's close to that plant. You see how that comes in and out when I put my hand anywhere near that thing. It goes in and out. And that's the capacitance of me affecting the light. And this is being run by this one little thin wire. It's about a 30 gauge uh, magnet wire. And it just runs across here. Another thing I found out today that I could run this all the way around the corner into the back bedroom, which indicates to me that this is not line of sight like I thought. This is uh, probably transmitting through that wire. And I'm not sure what the function of these little towers are for the transmission of the energy, but uh, I'm pretty sure that what's going is going through that one little wire probably in a longitudinal um, wave. Anyway, I just wanted to show that to people and, and say that I am getting there. This is the Dr. Stifler circuit and it is now running. It's running at the right amperage on 24 volts um, with brightness on the LEDs. That's the latest for today. Thanks for watching.